And I would guess that this is all a metal stud building, but that won't prevent this from having water damage and mold problems. When you see something like this, it needs to be addressed. Actually, the Hello everyone, I am videoing today from the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana where I am an alumni and I'm actually attending an event um, basically bringing together the women alumni in architecture from the entire history of the school. But I'm also standing out here talking about, I can see some things that, that in the new buildings, some of the older buildings are done well, but in the new buildings that need attention. So if you look behind me, you will see what is called rising damp. So you can see that the grade has depressed because when they build a foundation, we put in backfill and that ground actually settles over time. It can take five, well actually one to two years, five years, 10 years, it's still happening. And even at 15 years, that is still happening. But notice that the grade now, it probably was sloped away when it was built, but the grade now is sloping towards the building and then you can see what is called rising damp. So it did rain last night, and this is um, it's in the morning when I'm doing this, and you can see this kind of green moss here. This is the north side, so this will be worse and the moss is more likely to grow here. However, that's also rising. If you look closely, and I'll take some pictures of this so that you can see it, and what's interesting is I do my, my evaluations of people's buildings um, and their homes using photographs and people are kind of shocked by that sometimes that I can do that but it's actually kind of interesting because photographs freeze a moment in time that you can look at something and you see things you wouldn't see if it wasn't in a photograph very slight discoloration so you see this whole corner is slightly discolored um, but you'll see it more in the photograph so you see the ground here is actually discolored and rising in height and that's coming from the ground you can also see some things here there's like a cable here that was probably added later and so it went through the moisture proofing layers and probably wasn't designed well in terms of moisture proofing and that's clearly leaking also there's a defect in the window because you can see the evidence of water leaking there so in these situations you can say well okay it's masonry it's not going to be a problem hopefully it's not going to be a problem however depending on how this was built uh, if it doesn't have a really adequate vented rain screen it may have difficulty drying out and there's also something called um, vapor drive that happens in masonry buildings that the sun hits in particular and so this is a west elevation sun will hit here for sure and what that does is drive the vapor actually into the building to dry and know that buildings are always going to dry to the drier side which is almost always the inside of our buildings not the exterior so this is something that happens from sun no matter what season and what, what the climate as i understand it and so this is where if in the inside I would be looking closely at that and, and I would guess that this is all a metal stud building but that won't prevent this from having water damage and mold problems. And you can see over my shoulder here the rising damp. But look at the pictures for that. But aside from seeing some defects that I see everywhere, um, but just good examples that I can share with you, when you see something like this it needs to be addressed. Actually behind me here I almost see a little bit of rising damp. You see that? It's like a wavy line of darkness. See what I mean about pictures? So what may be happening is there should be flashing here to let water out at this change in, a, in, in material. And I wonder if it's captured there and water is actually collecting behind the wall there. So know that masonry does collect water and that it needs to get out. So drainage planes are really key. So that's my um, update from the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana and um, go Illini, I am, I am an alum. Um, I did go to grad school at Minnesota, at the University of Minnesota, so maybe I'll do something there next time. But, um, but Illini, the University of Illinois is a great organization, it's a great, a great school, and I'm very proud of the education that I received here in architecture, and um, there's a lot of really well-known people here that have done great things, especially women, who attribute their success in large part to their education here at the university. So that's all for now. Follow me at avoidingmold.com, my public Facebook page, Cheryl Seco Architect. Um, join one of my courses, watch some of my webinars, and, and create awareness and tell other people about these things, especially professionals. We got to pick, pick up the ball here and correct these things. So thanks for watching. Bye. 
you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.